Hi, my name is Chava. <laughs> We're really bad at making videos. It's a lot to like have to like think and like yeah. make videos. We're not funny. I'm not funny. She's I'm funny. Not, I'm not funny. <laughs> I'm um. nervous. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chava. I'm a photojournalist and digital media producer. I make stuff and I'm a, your local weed on the channel. Just kidding, your local weed. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michelle and I am a marketing coordinator currently, but I'm also a content creator on the side. Today we're going to be watching one of uh, two, two episodes of Unsettling Journeys. And uh, yeah, we want to get started. Check it out. See what see see what this is all about. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to do videos. <laughs> push play. Yeah, push play. <laughs> We're gonna watch now. We know domestic suckers and led to the eventual establishing of the Spanish Empire as a powerful actor in history. You know, they're talking about like the creation of Spain as a country, right? Yeah. But like in your brain and in the mythologies that we're building ourselves, it's always been like these countries, like Spain, England. Uh, France, they're just like things that have been there for like centuries, you know? Yeah. But all I remember from learning in history when I was younger was the Moors had control of Spain for yeah. 700 years and then Spain took it back and, yeah. you know, hooray us, we, us Spaniards, we took back our homeland from the conquering Moors. I, I guess like before the Moors, there never was a Spain yeah. to, you know, to take back as, as the stories have been told, yeah. like we're taking it back. The Inquisition. Wait, no. The first national law enforcing <laughs> no. agency of Pascalaki are the result of messed up colonial principles. Get it, I, I laughed at that section because, like, nowadays you see, like, hella clothes, especially with, like, for younger folks, like, there's, like, companies that really monetize on the image of the Virgin Mary, and it's just because, you know, a lot of people take pride in that. And I understand the, the cultural significance, however, I didn't grow up Catholic or with any specific religion. So, um, like, the Virgin Mary image doesn't really have any connection to me whatsoever, but I just left it it's, it's funny that it's, it's funny that it's like the symbol of colonization it, it, exactly. that we're just perpetuating <laughs> in our culture and taking yeah. pride of, and that's all, that's all yeah. thanks to everything that we're seeing yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like, you know, we're proud of this, yada yada, but it's like, man, should we be proud of this? So stay tuned to see how this history of mestizaje unveils through our unsettling journeys. How? Oh, I know. Hurry up and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to your lesson um, video. The Franciscans, they created the open chapel. I visited a chapel, open air chapel in Michoacan that had a big mural pointed at it. I think it was in Sinsunsan. They used the stones of the pyramids they found and put them in the new chapel, in the new outdoor chapel. It, it was like repurposing their, the destruction of their religious symbols for this new religious symbol. And they had this mural in the middle were indigenous folks praying and top of it where it was like a white God, white Jesus. And then like they were elevating and then the ones that weren't praying were burning in hell looking up. I remember the guide being so proud to tell me about like the history of it and it's just like really sad to see like the destruction of that temple to build this temple and then just see like the violence and the imagery that was used to like yeah. help convert them the question still remains why do they use these islamic styles in the quote-unquote new world by the way when my students use new world in papers I take off points because there's, there was nothing new about this. About this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they erase the violence that comes with it. The violence of the Reconquista, like all of that violence is erased and it just becomes a term for like 
this art style devoid of history devoid of meaning unless you're like yeah. unless you're like you know being taught this it's like oh forget about all that look at this very cool aesthetic I think it's important that we recognize like the violence that is inherent in the terminology that we're using. Mm. I thought it was interesting just like learning about how art and concepts like and the concepts that are introduced into art help normalize conquest and imperialism and help define a country's own view of themselves and the, and how they express themselves to the world. Like Spain's as a conquering body is expressed through its art. The idea of the, imp of the imperial being is this like, the existence of a nation can only be, it's, it's, it's tied, it's like, I conquer, therefore I am. It's like, it's only described through its conquering. And it's still like, that's still very much important in the way that we see the, the being of nations this day. It's like, we only exist on the power we exert. Yeah. And it's not, it's not, it's, it's, and it's still there in all our art. Like cinema is so yeah. much, like especially Western American cinema, is yeah. so much about the defeat of the other to establish my being. Yeah. The, you know, it's like I I see the other, and and I take, the, and the other can't do anything to me. Like we're so powerful, and so it's the same thing. It's like yeah. this establishment of like of like a nation through the violence of colonization. Yeah like the mudejar concept you know the things that are that are permitted to stay it's ours now that's why they're so comfortable in building in the style it's because it's no longer it's not even islamic art anymore it's conquered islamic art you see the influences of these other places but the significance of how they got there the is erased that erases yeah. all the violence that was perpetuated to create the country of spain it's, it's pretty profound to like touch upon and learn about and kind of just like it, it, it gets my wheels turning as to like when i go out and take photos how am, how am i perpetuating the world view that's sometimes very violent that i grew up learning here in the u.s would you say it's a form of appropriation I mean, yeah, it's, it's 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 appropriating culture yeah. as a way of like uh, control, right? Yeah, well, it, it just reminds me of like even appropriation in, in the world now. Like, you know, like you were saying, take these elements of like Islamic culture and creating these new like churches that are obviously, you said it's not that anymore. Now it, it's a colonized version of that. It reminds me of everything that's going on now with like, historical context of like even braids or you know there was this whole thing with like box braids and how um white folks braid their hair and they're allowed to go to work with them on but uh poc and black folks aren't able to show up like that because they're seen as more threatening and you know they're not as accepted i don't know mm -hmm. it just reminded mm -hmm. me of appropriation in in the context of like now and it's, it's a new way of understanding it's it. It's a, a new way of understanding it for sure. And it's really interesting to just like learn that um, a lot of the architecture, I guess, was inspired by mosques and it was sort of like weaponized. And one of the things I also liked about that Babalito said was you don't like the word uh, conquista because um, it's an invasion um, rather than just a conquista. What it made me think about was how like we call for other countries or other historical things that have happened invasions are not called conquistas they're called invasions or genocides but in this case it was called a conquista it was like oh look at us we took back. we did it <laughs> we did we did it we this are the best thing. look at us exactly <laughs> i'm like why is this not called like a genocide you know? it's, it's it, it was natural for them to come to the new world and <laughs> take over right yeah <laughs> the way that they described indigenous folks as like, islamic folks giving their viewers their readers back in spain this like easy pathway towards hate it's a shorthand for the foreign other that they are yeah. against it's really powerful to understand that when we look at this art that now we see as like oh look at this this beautiful art and these beautiful writings to see like how the intention upon arrival as soon as they found out this was a different place and not india Africa, 
Asia was to relate it immediately to an enemy as a way of perpetuating their colonizing tendencies. It's a useful tool in myth building. How do you feel about your last name and like the, the name Matamoros and the city Matamoros? I mean, I wish I knew more about my family and uh, the reason as to why we have our last name. And maybe, like you said, we probably are connected. Um, and it's just really interesting to like hear about Santiago de Matamoros or Santiago de Matamoros. Matamoros. Um, because Moro is my last name, and obviously it me his last name is to kill the Moros. Um, and I had I don't even know if my family has any relation to obviously the Moors, the Moors. The Moors. Um, so it'd be interesting to learn about that. But I just thought it was kind of crazy how there's this whole dance and festival surrounded around that around event. the mythology like, of that, like around that mythology yeah and it's the like the mythology of erasing the moors yeah, from and it's spain like a fest, <laughs> it's a festive thing like why the fuck are people dancing you know and celebrating this this is fucked up <laughs> And it's crazy because we're not even in Spain. This is Puebla yes. in Mexico. Like the Reconquista is the template for the colonization of the Americas. And you know, like hearing about Matamoros, Mata Indios, that figure who becomes such a violent figure in Latin America is uh, celebrated in Latin America. And you want to know what's funny is that, you know, my, our last name is Moro. I'm not, my family, my parents are not religious but my dad's mom is was very religious super catholic woman and she even like helped build like uh catholic churches in mexico and really? it's like this is fucking crazy <laughs> i know there was even a song i know i didn't know there was a song called matamoros i'm like okay <laughs> bye peace out i'm out it's okay you, you can change your last name to sanchez no i, I think i like your last name. i'm just kidding <laughs> I think I like I like my last name. You know, I, one of the projects that I'm working on, a long-term project, is about how we look at travel photography and street photography and kind of the lens that comes with those uh, styles of photography is oftentimes very... Like, it's, a, it's a Western imperialist view. When I look at other travel photography, it's all about othering and it's all about creating this like uh, these distinctions between us and them and going to this place that no one has gone to before there's a very palpable colonizing thing about that type of photography and that type of work and so for me as i'm learning about this and as i'm trying to rethink the way i take photos it's interesting for me to like step back and be like am i othering somebody am i creating a colonizing work with what i'm doing you know a lot of times travel photography is purely about aesthetics there's something insidious and in in even that and just creating something about aesthetics right it's like you're, you, it's like the erasure and the co-opting into the narrative of like western ideology it's something that really struck me about the lessons and the video was just like how often that type of work is used to oppress coming back with all this work about the indigenous people in latin america and how violent and how foreign and weird they were and creating these pieces of art allowed for the spanish colonizers to feel like we should take this because we are the cultured people these people deserve to be put in their place sometimes when you see works of art and it's like us the white civilization we should come to this foreign land oh these natives are so nice they're so smiley even in the most well-intentioned like oh we're trying to highlight this place oh, there's a creation of myths that these people aren't the same as you it's something that i'm constantly trying to battle in the work that i'm doing when we travel i'm always trying to like create bridges with the communities that i'm photographing as a photojournalist that's what i try to do and not just come in with this implicit bias that i'm gonna like come in and take ownership over the history of this place and i think that's something that will definitely this definitely gonna stick in my mind as i try to create more work in the future i hope i did a good job of saying that i had way more thoughts but i forgot because brain stupid So in this image, so we're, what we're looking at, it looks like an engraving and yeah. it, there, it's, there's a subset, it's like a circle. Um, in the middle, there's like an image and then there's four little subset circles on each yeah. side. And a bunch of 
Uh, I don't know, these are just priests, monks, what are they? These are friars. Friars, see, I don't That's even know. <laughs> I don't even know what they're priest, called. They're priests. Yeah, priest. they're priests. Okay, priest, fires, yeah. Yeah. fires. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So there's there's like three islands in the back. Yeah. The tre- the water's really treacherous. It has like dragons and shit in it. Yeah. Um, big like dragon fish. And then you know there's four there's three islands, mm-hmm. and each and in one of the islands there's a cross. Like I'm thinking like colonization, yeah. like conversion, religion, and you see. A ship captain in a in a in a boat full of like warriors. It looks like you know conquerors. Oh, so that's Columbus up there. Okay, see, I wasn't sure who it was. Yeah, but also a thing to know, they have the cannon. Like they're calling out their arrival yeah. into this new world. They're, and then they're in each of the subset circles. Uh, it looks like a friar. Uh, it looks like a priest. You know, spreading the word of Jesus to. <laughs> for lack of <laughs> to to the indigenous communities uh and then uh, you see them installing a cross on the island and it looks like it's being installed in the same place where like satan satanic pagan mm-hmm. you know other indigenous pre-hispanic religions had you know their symbols and what i'm what i'm what i'm what i'm hearing from this is that like they're showing the conquest of the lands it's being led by the by by these monks, these friars, uh, Fray Bernardo, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, obviously, like being guided by Columbus at the very top. He's almost like in this glorified position. He's the only figure who's isolated, and uh, you know, and you can see like the 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 their the, what they've left in their wake, the conversion yeah. of like Haiti and uh, the other the other two islands, right? Yeah. I think basically what we can gain from this is like it's, this is like one more level in myth making and like normalizing yeah. um, the colonization, right? It's yeah. like it presents this like ho- this story of like of like holy and uh, almost like a and purposeful like a colonization. It's like it's it's yeah. it's it's like it's a kindness to the natives that you can see in the scenes of conversion. Yeah. And you know, conversion as we've learned in the lesson is was important because of like this idea of the second coming, but also as like a way for Spain to establish itself as a nation. Like without its colonization, the idea Spain is the idea of Spain is only valuable and only real with colonization that's what i'm getting from like that's what i've been learning from like uh, uh, watch doing these is like it's like art is used to perpetuate the existence of nation of a nation not all the time like it, you know not 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 necessarily i'm not saying that that's all art's purpose but that's one of the purpose of art specifically during the colonial period and in like the and it shows us what's important and like what values are linked to the society that we're like that we're viewing it and then yeah. here it shows like the very real like importance they placed on like columbus and like on the monks and on yeah. this like idea of like converting people to catholicism i also thought it was interesting that they included like marine monsters i don't mm-hmm. know like i remember in the lesson like they mentioned that they created this like whole like mythology of like f- otherness and like the way that they d- describe people and the culture was so like mysterious and other yeah. and, and uh, monstrous, and you see the monsters all around. So I'm assuming it's like, like how treacherous their journey like, was. Like yeah, their right? journey was, and how these islands maybe were also wild. described that way, wild or. Yeah. This is really interesting. I'm go- I'm definitely gonna keep thinking about this, and l- it's gonna it's gonna play into how I think about the art that I'm making now. And the photos that I'm taking now, and even in journalism, the way that I that I approach other communities, and the way that I try to build relationships with people as I'm out there working, and you know, as storytellers, I think it's important because stories are never devoid of of like the context of the place you're in and the and of the history that came before it. So I think it's important to know about it so that you don't create this like romanticized nostalgic version yeah. of what you're doing and it's like and you're in because you run the risk of othering and you run the risk of you know propagating mm-hmm. colonization i think 
Yeah, and erasing history. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you all for having us. I hope we did okay. This was really long. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> we both did at the same time. <laughs> that was not planned. <laughs>